All right, in this video, we're gonna do a quick short one about creating a toggle password input. So if I have a secret password, like my secret password, and I want to do that feature where you can hover on the little eyeball and show your password and hide it again, we can do that. So let's see how we can make that. So here I have a Next.js app, which is pretty much empty. Public folder has been emptied. I created a prettier file, which is some of my settings. I installed a prettier plugin, Tailwind CSS plugin. And in my app, if I go to my global CSS, I cleared everything out except for the Tailwind import. And the page, I cleared everything out except for the word page. So let's boot up this. Let's boot up the uh, Next.js app and we'll see what we get here. Okay, we're using port 3000, so let me kill it and bring it back. There we go, we get the page. Cool. Let me bump up the font a little bit. Okay. Hopefully that's better to work with. And let's jump into it. The first thing we're gonna do is install ShadCN. So I'm actually gonna open up a new terminal and I'm gonna do npx chad cn cn at latest init. I'm gonna use the zinc color and I'm gonna use um, let's do legacy peer depths. Okay, that's good. It's giving me an error. Let me refresh. Still not happy. Let's go to my global CSS and press the save button. There we go. That's good. Now I'm going to install some ShadCN components. Again, clear, npx ShadCN at latest. I just want the add, the card, the input, the label, and the button. That's all we're going to use. I'm going to try to keep it simple. And let ShadCN carry the styles while we carry the logic. Um, again, use legacy peer depths. Okay, and we don't need the ShadCN terminal anymore. Let's go to our page. And let's go ahead and create a, just a very simple layout. Uh, let's do class name. Um, height will be the full screen. Uh, grid and place item center. Okay, now everything's in the middle. Let's bring in that card component. Okay, let's do a card header. Do a card title. Welcome. Let me turn up Copilot. Uh, disable completions. Do a card um, content. We're gonna have a form. We're gonna have a div, which will have a label of HTML for email. Email, and then we will have the corresponding input for type email, ID email, uh, name is email. Okay, we're gonna copy this div down and the exact same thing except for password. And then we will do a button of type submit, submit uh, login. And that's our form. And then let's, let's throw in a couple styles here. On the card, I wanna do a max width of small width full. Cool. Um, on the form, I want to do a space Y of four. Okay. On these input fields, I want to do a space Y of two. I'm going to copy this here. And lastly, on the button, I just want to do full width. That's our styles. We're done. Here. Uh, let's hook this up to a server action real quick. So in my repo, I'm going to create a new folder called actions. I'm going to create a new file called login.action.ts. Use server directive, export async function, login action, takes in the form data as type form data. Uh, let's get the values as object.entries, form data.entries, and let's just log it. That's all we're doing in this action, nothing else. So let's, let's hook up the action to the form action form sorry, login action okay let's refresh the page real quick 
And let's see our log here. So I'll do Naruto at example.com. Password will be testing. And we get an empty, empty values. Why? Great question. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> testing. An empty array. Okay, I'm going to debug. Let's see what's going on here. Form is hooked up. Login action, form data dot entries. Oh, sorry, it's from entries. Okay. Testing. There we go. We get our email password. Okay, we, we it's logging. This is a server side stuff. We're not going to talk about it in this video. You can do whatever you want with this data on the server side. Okay, so we don't even need this action anymore. Let's hide it. Okay, so. This is the main point here, the password input. Let's create it. So in components, let's create a new file called password input.tsx. And we're gonna start off by doing a use client. We'll be doing some client functionality here. And we'll create a component called password input. And we're gonna get some props. The props of the password input props will be the same as our input. So let's go to our input and see that we have, this is our type. Let's copy it. React.componentProps input. Um, I don't want to use React. Dot. I will just use component props and I will import this type from React. And I'm going to use the omit uh, utility with TypeScript and I'm going to omit the type. So I will not allow the user to pass in the type. So our password input props will be the type does not exist I believe uh, property type does not exist on password input props because we omitted it um, so you can't pass in the type uh, before we continue here let's go back to our page and replace our input let's, see, let's return input as so so we're creating a wrapper around our current input. Let's import it here, password input. So it's mad at us because type does not exist. So we can't pass in the type, but everything else should be passable. Okay, if we look at our application, it looks exactly the same because we're just rendering the input. Now we want to pull out a class name and we want to pull out the rest of the props. Uh, for now, we'll do class name is equal to class name, and um, we'll spread the rest of the props. Okay, now let's do the client functionality. Refer to my notes one second. Cool. So I'm going to do very verbose about this for learning sake. So we'll do like use state uh, false. And we're going to call our state uh, show password and set show password, classic uh, use state. And then we're going to derive two states from this, or two um, variables. Derive state. So if it's show password, then the type will be text. Otherwise, it'll be password. So our type is going to go right here. Perfect. And then we'll const icon is equal to show password. If we want to, sh if we are showing the password currently, we will have an I off icon from Lucid React, which means, hey, if you're showing my password, now click this to hide it. Otherwise, we'll have the I icon. Means you're not showing the password, click on the eyeball to see the password. Okay. Um, let's wrap this whole thing in a div. Okay, and let us put a relative class name on this. And here we'll put a button, which will render the icon. Okay, so far so good. We gotta fix up styling in a bit. Let's add a on click to this. Handle, handle toggle. And before we forget, let's add a type button here. Because if we don't add type button here, it will submit the form. And we don't want that to happen. Uh, const handle toggle is a... Let's do a function, actually. Function. 
handle toggle. We'll do set show password to the previous is not equal to the previous. So we'll just toggle the thing. So let's test it out. Um, hello. There you go. We got it all done. You can stop here if you want. But let's do some styling. Um, so because it's relative, we can make this absolute. Absolute. And we'll do a top of one half and a negative translate y of one half. That'll center it um, vertically. And then we'll do a right of three. On the icon, let's dial it a little bit and we'll do a. Oh, this also has cursor pointer, so we know we can click on it. On the icon, we will do a size of four. Let's try a size of six, actually. And then the stroke muted foreground. I think it might be too big. Let's try size five or four. Just, you can just size five. I think that's okay. And then, so this is pretty much good. But here's one issue that I ran in, or one thing that might bother you, right? If you have a really long password, which you really shouldn't, like, um, hello world, my name is Karam. I am looking for an entry level job. Okay, so you see how it covers the eyeball? We need to add some padding to the end of our input to prevent this. So that's why I destructured the class name here. So let's bring in a CN utility that comes with um, ChatCN. We might as well use it because we already have it. And we'll just add um, some default types along with our class names that we passed in to, to override anything or add. So we just want to add one is PE9, so padding N9. I'm not really sure the difference between padding N and padding right. In this case, it looks the same, but I think padding N makes a little more sense here. So now we have that padding at the end of our input, and we can go ahead and type in, this is a really long password, right? Maybe it's too long, hope I remember, and it'll uh, stay at the end. And there we go, if we, we can show the password, we can type in our email again, Naruto add next, and we can go ahead and log in, we will see our Data still comes through, like a regular input. Yeah, this is how we make a password input as a wrapper of original inputs. Thank you for watching and hope it was helpful. Better odd tutorial coming soon.